we're tracking it every day at the office and there's always people on the site checking out the aerial view and the video that we have of the stadium and the deposits are coming in from everywhere. They're coming in from California, from Nevada, from Arizona, from Utah, all the surrounding states. But then they're also coming from all over the country and really all over the world. We've got a lot from Canada, we've got some from Mexico, we had Australia. Uh, so it's just exciting to see the enthusiasm in this sport. Hawaii, we've seen a lot from Hawaii. Uh, so people are gonna come here, which I think Mark, is a good blend. Yeah. Mark, is it a challenge? Your players have had to answer questions this week about the move and they had that media availability. And now you have an event in Oakland, an event in Las Vegas. How is the franchise working to balance those two things right now? Well, right now we're the Oakland Raiders and we're gonna remain in that community while establishing an identity here as well. Um, it's important to us, uh, it's important to Mark, and we'll continue to do that. That's why we're hosting the Thursday event there like we have every single year. What are your thoughts on how this process has gone here in terms of getting the, the negotiations for the lease agreement going and, and moving things towards breaking ground? Uh, I think it's been fair on both sides. There's been challenges pre uh, presented by both sides. There's going to be some contentious issues, but it's a negotiation. It should stay in private, and uh, I think you heard their attorneys um, and what they stated, I would say, represents it well. Talk was, you know, at least in Oakland, can take you through 2018 season, 2019. Any mm -hmm. work been done on staying in Oakland or finding something here? Uh, I'm not really going to discuss that today, but thanks for asking. Mark, are you comfortable with the timeline? I'm, uh, I am right now. I mean, we're pushing up like to some. September's kind of the drop yep. dead. Kind of I think that's probably accurate, and we're going to stay on target for that. Could you repeat the number of personal seat licenses? I didn't catch it at the beginning. Well, it's deposits. So it doesn't necessarily say how many tickets they're going to buy. It just shows that I'm interested in purchasing some type of ticket product. So they could buy two, three, four, um, and we're north of 40,000. We did about 23,000 in day one, in day one, and it's about double that now. The status of the Russell Road site, as far as I don't really want to talk about today, Rick. Okay, thanks. Thanks.